Hello used Volvo owner. Today I will show you how to repair 12 volt cigarette lighter socket. Nowadays in cars most often these power outlets are used as phone charger sockets, because we know that smoking is not good for your body and for your wallet also. In my case, neither the cigarette lighter socket in front and the one at the rear of the car don't work. Always check the cigarette lighter sockets with different gadgets, before you start dismantling the car because the equipment you use every day may simply be broken and the cigarette lighter sockets in the car are fine and working. Once you have realized that the problem is with the 12 volt outlets, Google for your car model and year manual document, there you will find where the electric 12 volt socket or cigarette lighter fuse box is located in the car. Because in the car has several fuse boxes, depending on the car model and year. So check carefully, and make double check where the 12 volt cigarette lighter socket fuse box is located on your car. For my Volvo S60 2006 diesel model, the 12 volt cigarette lighter socket fuse is located in the passenger compartment below the steering wheel, behind plastic cover. Always switch off the ignition and remove the key before you remove the fuses, to avoid a short circuit. The plastic cover is secured with two screws, loosen them with a size 25 Torx bit. Now the hard part is to remove this plastic cover, it is held in place by plastic pins in the top corners, and is hooked on the right side. It is really harder than I thought. Nicely, one of the pins broke off. As you can see, the pin looks like this. The one that broke off looks a bit different, I'm not worried about it that, because the cover is held in place by two decent metal screws. The next step is to find the correct fuse, which is showed in the manual. I can't pull it out with my fingers, you can use a pliers or a special plastic fuse removing tool to remove the fuse. As you can see it is a bit burnt and also broken. I was lucky to have such a 15 amp fuse in the replacement fuse holder. If you don't have replacement fuse you can get it on Home Depot, or in the video description is a link to the replacement fuse. Next step is important, you need to put the fuse in the same place where you took the broken fuse out, also press it into place properly, so that there is a good contact. You must have seen cars on fire and you don't want to see your Volvo car on fire. Before screwing the plastic cover back on, Turn on the ignition and see if the phone charger in cigarette lighter socket works. The charger works, I've done everything right. Put the replacement fuse holder cover back in place. Now put the plastic cover back in place, it's not easy, but with a small flathead screwdriver it can be done. Screw the plastic cover back on with both screws. Done. Switch on the ignition and double check that the cigarette lighter socket is working, as you can see it is working and the phone is charging. The cigarette lighter socket on the back of the car also works, super. I'll once again be able to charge my phone in the car on long weekend trips. I will also save at least $30 by not having to go to the car service. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. So we can meet in other small and useful used car repair videos. Have a good road.